God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us, who know you now by faith, to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice. Because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you, the wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Let us pray our psalm responsibly by verse. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son that he may rule your people righteously, and the poor with justice. That the mountains may bring prosperity to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall, he shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another, he shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be an abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute. The kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time which the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Seeking out a child got a big boost this year from the grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the evening sky. It was a rare event that fired the imagination of cosmologists, astronomers, and astrologers alike. There were rare aspects to the 2020 Christmas star event including the fact that it happened on the December solstice. That only increased the drama. These two giant planets merged into one great light in the sky. How could we not feel as if we were a part of something magical, as if we had entered into an ancient story? It was a welcome diversion from the bleakness of celebrations filmed in empty churches with the specter of death, disease, and division all around. 2020 had begun with the metaphor of good vision and seeing things clearly. So what did we see? Well, we saw frighteningly clear examples of racism, not only in the violence visited on our brothers and sisters of color, but the systemic disparity in access to necessary things. 
We have witnessed economic inequality in which the rich kept getting richer and there was no trickle down. The words of Mary's song, the Magnificat, have yet to be realized. The rich still go home with their pockets overflowing. We saw a pandemic, fires that raged, and we saw a political landscape unlike any in our nation's history. In the best of times, politics is a dirty business. Last year took that to a new level. Perhaps we needed 2020 to do just what it did, to shine a light on the broken places. How else will we as a nation and the human family decide to change? 2020 showed us other things as well. We became the old dogs who did indeed learn new tricks. Humor, creativity, and innovation have held their own on the internet alongside the stories of trial and hardship. For every moment of selfishness, we have witnessed exhausted selflessness dressed in scrubs and teaching on Zoom. We also saw in clear relief our need for each other. Bereft of hugs and singing, we know what we don't want to live without. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. We know what the light has shown us, and now we have a whole new year in which to take part in what God started in Bethlehem. May we be like the stargazers and be wise enough to take a different route on our way home. Let us stand and confess our faith using the words of the ancient church. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, she is worshipped and glorified. She has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come.
Let us all take a seat, take a breath, and take a moment to enter into prayer. Gracious and loving God, we have seen your light. We have seen ourselves in your light. May we be guided into the paths of peace and justice. And may we share your light with the world. they may bring their people into a new day. As we all face the prospect of many months with this virus, may we have patience and wisdom. Thanks for the many blessings of this life, for the promise of vaccines, for a new year, giant stars, and the beauty and wonder of this planet. May we be good stewards of all these things. God of mercy and compassion, we lift up before you this day all who suffer in body or spirit, those who are sick, those who tend to them, those who have lost hope. May they all be strengthened by your love and filled with your healing grace. We remember those who have died, those we love but see no longer, and all those who have found themselves in your kingdom. May they know welcome and joy.
ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And peace be with you. Welcome to 2021. Um, we are very close to being able to have some live streaming worship in the church here, thanks to some new technology and the availability of internet in this old building. So we will um, update you about those uh, new opportunities to join in worship a little bit more immediately than uh, through a YouTube video. Um, we, we are those old dogs who have learned new tricks and we keep finding new ones to learn. So we thank you, we thank you and um, happy new year. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God. Creator of heaven and earth, 
because in the mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days, you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O God, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Christ, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever.
Dearest Lord Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in this holy sacrament. We love you above all things and desire to receive you within our souls and lives. And since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we beseech you to come spiritually into our hearts. We unite ourselves to you, together with your faithful people gathered as we are able. Let us never be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. The world now is too dangerous and too beautiful for anything but love. May your eyes be so blessed you see God in everyone, your ears so you hear the cry of the poor. May your hands be so blessed that everything you touch is a sacrament, your lips so you speak nothing but the truth with love. May your feet be so blessed that you run to those who need you. And may your heart be so open, so set on fire, that your love, your love, changes everything. And may the blessing of God, who created you, loves you, and sustains you, be with you now and always. Amen.